good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and the youngsters, too. This is Conrad Vargas, your old desert naturalist. Today, we're hiking up to Vargas Palms, which is uh, a little outside of Palm Springs. It's still in the Coachella Valley, though. Okay? You can hike in from Snow Creek Road, but we chose to drive on a Jeep road. On the way we cross Falls Creek, we are looking west from this point towards the San Gagonio Mountains. If you choose to drive, you will need a four-wheel drive vehicle for the unexpected. Looking east now, you can see Vargas Palms nestled up a canyon. There are about 50 Washingtonian palms in this canyon. What a thrill! It is remarkable to see water in the creeks in the Coachella Valley. Take a photograph. We are looking down at our car from 300 feet up on our climb. Overall, the ascent is about 1,000 feet from where you see our car. Can you see the red on the rocks? That still bears the effects of Fosjet from fire retardant applied on them from the fire more than 10 years ago. Follow me! The trail is moderate to hard, but there's lots to see along the way. The hike by foot from Snow Creek Road is about five hours round trip. Driving to the base of the trail will save you at least three hours that can be used to enjoy the palms. Oh, you're catching me eating my lunch. That's all right, I'll put it down. We're at Vargas Palms. The palms in the uh, early 1960s had no name. All the people were looking at the map and found no name on these palms. So the curator of the Palm Springs Museum suggested Glenn Vargas be the recipient of the palms in his name. And that's my dad. So these palms here were named after my father, the Vargas Palms, and they're doing quite well, except that they've been burned a couple of times, and what I really hate is to see people writing their initials on the palms, so like, I don't know who SP and ET are, so I don't know why they do it, but this is the Vargas Palms, and I hope you enjoyed the hike up. From the road where we hiked up, it... It's about a thousand feet climb elevation. It takes about an hour to get here. It's a really a nice, comfortable walk. But there are a lot of boulders and, and real high steps that you have to uh, come up. So it's not made for a wheelchair. And if you're as old as I am, I suggest you don't try it. Okay, I'm about ready to go, and if you bring it in, please take it out. Don't drop it on the side of the trail. So this is Conrad Vargas, your old desert naturalist, signing off. And remember, you can reach me at theolddesertnaturalist at gmail.com. Join me next week when we go to Whitewater Canyon and visit the Wildlands Conservancy and the Whitewater Preserve.